we live in a time of extraordinary challenge, extraordinary challenge, unlike anything I have ever seen. We have to look further down the road. We have to look far beyond the farm bill to 2030 and 2040 when children and grandchildren who will follow us and young leaders who will follow us can look back and say that we did everything we could to build a movement. The powers that be would have every one of us in this room quieted and put aside and in the corners because they don't want to hear about what the people of the land and the seas really are hoping for and struggling for in terms of equity and possibility down the road. If you don't know a black farm operator or a black farm organization, you need to get in touch and link with them and organize with them. If you don't know a tribal government and the land that the tribes operate and control, you need to reach out. If you don't know other folks who are working in the seas, know them, they're here. If you don't know folks working in the Northwest or the South, know them, they're here. And even though we sometimes feel that we're not making much progress, we have to know that these small steps are absolutely essential. If you don't know a black farmer, if you don't know a white farmer, you don't know organizers, get to know them. Because unless we work together, we'll get no place. Our tribal brothers and sisters have faced this reality since the Europeans first landed on this continent. And it's critical that we are in their struggles as well around pipelines and around land preservation and around land reacquisition. It's crucial that we support that effort. In the 80s, UAW members who built farm implements in Iowa and across the country were on strike and we supported them as farm organizations. We need to look at what's happening right now. Harmel workers are looking to strike. We need to look at where we can build with organized labor because so many of the people who work in the plants are also farmers and they have to be part of this struggle and we have to be part of their struggle so that the relationships are built that are so critical to the success of our organizing. Organizing is not just about power. It is about building relationships, my friends. Building relationships. And if you build relationships with others, especially those who share in the struggle with us, there is a sense, there's a possibility that we will, in fact, achieve the kinds of changes, perhaps even in our lifetime, that we seek to, to achieve. Sometimes people ask me along the way, what do you do? You're an organizer. What does that mean? It means I'm a story carrier. Every one of you are story carriers. And you have to carry the stories of your people and our people into places that haven't heard those stories to build relationships that will seek and achieve levels of power that we hope for. We got Moms for Liberty, I think they're called. I shouldn't even mention their names. They're seeking to ban books, right? I say ban corporate food from our schools. Yeah. Ban Tyson chicken from coming into our cafeterias. Feed the kids good food and feed all the kids. Minnesota last year passed legislation and paid for feeding every kid for this coming year. Free lunches in schools. And we produce the food they need. Why aren't we working with the schools? Why aren't we pushing and moving forward on every possible place we possibly can to make sure that our kids get fed. It is a call that we have as a people committed to justice and equality, to racial justice, and to hope for all God's people on this planet, for all of the people in our neighborhoods and towns and villages. Feed the people, house the people, help the people. Do everything you possibly can to make sure that when folk look back upon us and this time, they can say, you know what? They did everything they possibly could to make sure that they tried their best to create this new country, this new sense of possibility to build underneath the awesome existential challenges we face, 
to build underneath all of this terrible, terrible reality that intrudes on our world and on our lives and on our people to make sure that we built underneath all of this the sense of possibility and justice for all the people down the road. My friends, that is our task. May it be so, my friends. May it be so.